Okay, testing the audio. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm coming at you from Ontario in California. Today, we're talking about five tips to make your editing go faster. This includes some things to set you up for success when you start editing. So stick around, and if you like this video, hit the like button, obviously subscribe, and uh, let's get into the video. Something I've learned over the years is that editing time is everything. A client expects photos to be edited in a proper amount of time and a happy client equals a happy life. Trust me, I know this for a fact. I've struggled in the past with editing times, but I have figured out ways to make my editing so much easier. So tip number one is to star your photos on the camera. That way when you get to the downloading portion, then your photos are already cold a little bit, you have an idea of everything that you want to edit, and then you are able to easily sort by those starred numbers, so that way you don't have to sift through the thousands of images that you just took. Tip number two is kind of a hybrid. I do all of my color editing first, and I use Lightroom's Sync to do this. So if I have photos that are similar to one another, I will go through and I will edit one image with just the color and the exposure. Then I will take that image with it selected. I will highlight all of the photos that I want to include in that edit and I will click sync down at the bottom of the screen. This is going to take all the photos of a similar location and make them all look the same with the same edits. Tip number three is to use color flagging to dictate which photos need Photoshop. Now, not every photo that I take needs Photoshop. However, there are some that are easier to take care of in Photoshop, and there might be a person in the background, or there might be some specs on the ground that are just not being edited properly by Lightroom, or it might be easier for me to edit in Photoshop. Those photos I mark in red by hitting the six button. At the end, when I have all of the other photos done, then I take all the images that need Photoshop and I will upload them to Photoshop all at once and it saves me a whole lot of time. It might take a few seconds for Photoshop to actually get all of these images in it and open each and every one of them. However, once it's done, you can go through each one and edit them to your liking and then click save not save as, save, and then it will port back to Lightroom and you're ready for your exports. The next tip I have for you is to make sure that you are exporting in batch. Don't export each image individually. That is gonna take a lot of time, a lot of time you could be using otherwise. And if you export all of them at once, it'll just go through all of the images. Now, the way that I do this is I flag all of my final edits by pressing P and I make sure that all of the images that I want to export are flagged. Then I sort by the flagged options down in the bottom right corner of Lightroom and I select all of them, right click, export, and I go to the menu and make sure all my settings are correct. But that will take each image and it will export them all at once and it saves you a ton of time. So I promise you that is going to speed up your editing process. And the last tip I have for you guys is make sure that your photos are organized. No matter what portion of the editing process you are in, you need to stay organized in order to be able to be productive. So the way that I do this now, I didn't do this before, is when I'm uploading my raw photos, I start by making a 2023 folder. And then in that 2023 folder, I have my different trips. Now these trips start with the date that they started. So I will do year first, 2023, no spaces in between. And then I have, say it was done in August and I go 08. So 2023, 08. Then I do a dash and say I was tra traveling to Tampa, Florida. It would say 2023, 08, dash Tampa. Then within that, I will do the same format for each individual photo shoot. So you have 2023-08-01. So August 1st, dash. 
the Straz Center. So say I shot a bunch of dancers at the Straz Center. Then I do a dash and I put the dancer's name. That way later when I'm trying to find these photos, all I have to do is type in the 0801 or I can type in the Straz Center or I can type in their name and that folder will pop up no matter what. Then when it comes to my final edits, these are the ones that I'm going to keep forever. This folder system is exactly the same way as I do the raw files, only I add the tag at the end, final edits. That way I can differentiate between the folders when I'm typing things in and I keep organized with my final edits. Those are my tips to speed up your editing. I really hope you enjoy this. I've got a ton of different videos coming in the future, so if you don't want to miss anything, hit that notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed and hit a like button if you like this video. I am by far not the expert in this subject, so if you guys have any tips, make sure you leave it in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Peace.